Hello, this is Craig from bitsbox.co.uk. This is the sixth mission in our narrative campaign, The Tainting of Odessus. In this mission, we are back at Outpost 212. Now essentially what's happened, as um, if you may recall from one of our previous story times, that the Imperial Guard went up to Outpost 212 and they, they just found that it was completely deserted and all what was left was a few dead bodies from the previous battle, um, which was in Episode 3. And so since then, um, Malgon Glutwort, who you may recall from episode 2, got sucked into the warp and he was spat out quite close to outpost 212. And since the um, Imperial Guard left, he has managed to raise an army of the dead from the Fallen from episode 3. So essentially the cultists have now been risen as plague zombies and the corn berserkers are now back being represented by plague marines. And of course, um, the Chaos also have control of... Uh, but Chaos also have control of the Skatari, so Malgun Glutwar has a small force of dead, dead marines, dead cultists and Skatari. And um, the Imperial Guard have decided they, they came back to the outpost, and um, just as they were leaving, Malgun Glutwar and his army um, attacked, and that's what we'll be seeing in this mission. So again, I'm, I'm joined by Wayne, Hello. and um, he'll be controlling the Imperial Guard. So, we'll show you the armies and we'll show you the board. Okay, so here is Morgan Glutwort, who you remember from episode 2. He's back with his army of the dead and the Skatari. So, yeah, um, we're using Plague Marines to represent um, Risen Again Corn Berserkers. They will use the Plague Marine rules. Um, so, they have two Flamers and a Champion, and they're in a Rhino. Um, I don't know where he got the Rhino from, but hey ho. <laughs> It's yeah. the killer rhino. The he's corn guys. Yeah, there. he's scavenged it from corn. Um, we have some spawn. He's managed to summon up, and then two squads of fifteen zombies. Um, these are using the rules from Imperial Armor, so they're only three points each. But they do have a four plus feel, no pain. But they're only like initiative two, weapon skill two, etc. And then he's got control over Skatari. So we have two squads of rangers. Um, one has the plasma weapon and one has the sniper weapon. I forget the names off the top of my head, so I do apologise. And then we have um, a vanguard squad, and they all just have um, they all kind of just have an um, radium carbines. So that's 750 points of um, risen again, dead. Corn, essentially, that they all know all now with um, Skatari. Okay, so Deathcore of Krieg, that they've um, just they're now leaving the outpost as they get attacked, and this is the army. So Wayne's going to talk us through. Yep. Yeah, so I have a Commissar General with power weapon and carapace armor. Ten Grenadiers with a flamer and a heavy flamer team. And I have a platoon with the command squad with four plasma guns and then three infantry squads with just las guns, six death riders, and a hellhound. Okay, so that's 750 points of Death Core Creek. We'll now get deployed and we shall show you the deployment. Okay, so this is a shot of the board. I'll take a shot from this angle. So I'll close in. So, as I've said, the, the Death Corps of Creed came back to the outpost and now, just as they're about to leave, they notice that Morgan Glutwort and his army of the dead are trying to counter them and they're over here. So we're pretty much just sort of lined up against each other. So, the, um, the objectives in this mission is just simply kill, kill points. So, um, the Death Corps of Krieg roll to go first, and I will attempt to seize the initiative. Okay, so attempt to seize the initiative. Ooh, nearly, but not quite. So, Death Corps of Krieg, turn one. Okay, so at the end of the movement phase, there's no surprise that they're all coming forward. So, we'll now go straight into the shooting phase. Okay, so the Hellhound is uh, using its Torrent Flamer to go there, getting seven. Okay, so uh, two's to wound. So, uh, six. six. 
Okay, okay so we only get our... Double strength. Ah, okay. Sorry. Okay, yeah. So we don't get our feel no pain either. So six of them do get, go down, but we, um, the leader will take two of them, so that will actually just be five. And of course, yeah, um, Siri means double strength, so yeah. Um, he dies outright, so six do go down. So these guys are going to run. Four inches. The Death Riders are going to run. Four inches. These guys are going to run. Two inches. So these four plasma guns are going to fire at the spawn. So uh, fours to hit. Two hits. And twos to wound. So two wounds. So one takes two wounds. They're going to run. Six inches. There we go. These guys are going to run as well. Three inches. Okay, so that just leaves a leadership check on these guys. They are leadership eight. And they just about pass. So we'll now go into uh, Chaos and Skatari. Turn one. Okay, so the Skatari are going to take their Doctrine, which gives them plus three ballistic skill, but it um, lowers their weapon skill by two, is it? Yes. Okay. So um, just to recap my movement, uh, the Rhino's moved forward a little bit. And these spawn are going to try and attack the Hellhound. And then these three squads are just shuffled forward. So we'll now go straight into a shooting phase. Okay, so we have 12 shots from these guys into the Death Riders. And um, they're going to hit on twos. And the ones are re-rolled for fives. So that's quite a few hits. Okay, so fours to wound. And sixes will count as two. Ah. So there's four sixes in there. Okay, so four up save. That's Twelve of them. And six up fill my pain. So one, two, three, four, five. So two die and one is on one wound. Okay, so I'm gonna fire the galvanic rifles from this squad in to the death riders as well. So again, hitting on them twos and rerolling the ones for fives. So they do all hit. And they're strength four, so they are wounded on threes. So, just a two. So, five up cover for the trees. Passed, and the second shot fails with six up feeling of pain. Oop, so he dies. So, then we'll have um, one shot from the Transuric Arcubus, or Sniper Rifle, as I'll prepare to call it. Just do it again, hit number two. Uh, wounds. Okay. That's AP3. So cover. Again, and fill my pain. Oops, so one more in. Okay, so we've got four shots from the Galvanic Rifles from this squad over here into this squad here. So again, hit on the twos. I still keep rolling ones. So we roll for fives, nope. And these are wings on threes as well. Four, three. So three dead. So we'll see if this Rhino can live up to its corn count of hearts reputation and it will fire its combi bowler into this squad here. It hits and does one wound. Okay, so the spawn needs an 8 inch charge with fleet to get the Hellhound, which they just make. Okay, so we have to do our. Um, Mutation table roll, which is a six. Okay, so number of attacks is five each. So 15 attacks coming into the back of this hellhound. Okay, so due to their rage, they have seven attacks each. I'm gonna do each spawn individually, just so I can get all the dice on the camera. So we'll start with the first one, hitting on freeze. And then it's fives to glance, sixes to pen. So that's one pen. So we'll now go straight into the second one. And he gets another pen. So hopefully the last one should finish off. Got some good rolling to hit. So. And yeah, he could have done it himself. So he's just trying to add a few extra seconds onto our game. So that's probably quite good for the chaos, because as we just saw, that Hellhound was quite nasty. Okay, so that's the end of turn one. So, the Hellhound came in and fried a load of the Vanguard here, but they 
shot back at the Death Riders, managing to take out a couple with the Rangers managed to take out another one and take a wound off another one. So I'm quite happy with that. And then the spawn came up and took out the Hellhound. And then we took out a couple of guys over there. And then mostly the Krieg have been running forward, but I think we'll see this turn. They're going to start quite a lot of shooting. So we'll now go into turn two and see what they can do. So at the end of the Deathcore movement, um, Death Riders are marched right up to these guys. I think we know what's going to happen there. These poor spawn are getting surrounded by guardsmen. I think they'll be taking a lot of firepower. And then these two squads have obviously moved forward to get in range for shooting. So a lot of shooting coming my way, I think. And fire. Okay. Okay. So this guy's going to issue first rank fire, second rank fire on the squad of 10. So leadership 8. And they pass. Okay. Okay, so these guys shoot another spawns. So the first 20 with fours to hit. And the other 10. <coughs> and sixes to wound. Uh, one. Okay, this squad's going to shoot into them as well. So hit on fours. And sixes. Two. Okay, so that will finish him off. Okay, these guys are going to fire the plasma guns into them. So hit on fours. So two gets hot. So five up. And one dies. <coughs> and two's to wound. I think it's oh, is it freeze? Freeze, because they're strength seven, aren't they? Yeah. So there's still three wounds though, so it will kill, a, <coughs> kill another one and leave one on one wound. And the lad's pistol. So hit on fours. And sixth wound. Oh, he's yeah. done it! Oh, give that guy a little medal. <laughs> Star of the match. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the spawn wipe out. Well, that's good for me. We're not going to rampage for my army anymore. Yeah. So the grenadier's going to shoot them. So six shots hitting on threes. And wounding on fours. So uh, four dead. Okay, so do get a six up, feel no pain. So three die and one survive. I assume a wound on the champion. Okay, yep. So this squad's gonna shoot them as well. So hit on fours. That's pretty good. Almost. And wounding on fours. Mm, that was that bad. wasn't so good, yeah. So four up saves are all made. So they're hanging in there. Okay, the death rider's gonna shoot them guys. So last pistols hit on fours. And wound on four. So one wound. So four up has failed. Six up feel no pain. It's passed. <laughs> but I think we're probably gonna lose him in combat. Okay, so the squad over there needs to take a leadership test on eight. And that's good. Just <laughs> Okay, so the death rider's gonna do the uh, one inch charge with <laughs> ten. Yep, um I do get my overwatch, so I'll just do that quickly. So six is on overwatch. So that's statistical. <laughs> yep, statistically got the two. And then one wound. So, uh, four up save. Sorry. Okay, so they're in combat. Okay, so Hammer of Wrath first, wound on fours. <laughs> oh, it's all three. <laughs> so, four ups. Oh, these dice are hot for both of us at the moment. Okay, so we hit first. Now, uh, hit on freeze. And two's to wound, so four AP3 wounds. Okay. <coughs> so the six up feel no pains are uh, failed, so that squad is dead. So that currently takes the scores up to 2-2. Two, two. So consolidation, five. Okay, so at the end of um, Nurgle's movement phase, um, the Rhino shuffled forward and these guys are jumped out ready to Hopefully, toast some guardsmen. Uh, the zombies and the uh, rangers have just come forward a little bit. And then these ones have stayed perched up there. So we're going to go into the psychic phase now. So we roll for walk charge, which was only one. So that only gives me two walk charge points because I'm only a level one sorcerer. 
Okay, so um, we're gonna we have the plague wind and power and Nurgle's rot. So obviously Nurgle's rot's not in range. So I'm gonna have to attempt to plague wind on two dice. You never know. And oh, so close, but no. So we'll just go straight into the shooting phase. Okay, yeah. So I forgot to say at the beginning of the turn we're gonna use the plus two ballistic skill doctrine for the Skatari. And we're gonna fire it into the Death Riders. So the ones are re-rolled for sixes, which is they've got. <laughs> and they only wound on threes. So that's not so good, so it's only four. And that is AP four. So uh cover save. So five up. Nope. And six up the other pain. Nope, so two die. He's on the wind. So the sniper's also gonna fire <clears throat> and hits the Tuzzle Wind. So the Death Riders still live. So the Rhino's gonna shoot into the last remaining Death Rider. Uh, Rerolled. That's two and it wounds on threes. So just a one. So four up save. No. And six up field no pain. Nope, he is dead. So, Rhino <laughs> kills the last Death Rider. So, Rhino's doing pretty good in this game as well. Okay, so the flamers from this squad. So, they're going to flame this squad. Um, he can get five, and he can get about six. So, that'd be 11. So, that's 11 um, hits, wounded on threes. So, there's a few ones and twos in there. But that is seven. And then six shots from the bolters. So only hitting with three. Uh, but they all win, so. <coughs> kills that squad. So this Katari over there are going to shoot into this squad with the flamers. So um, four shots from the galvanic rifles first. I'm hitting on twos. And then wounding on threes. So that's four wounds. Takes out the heavy flamer team. And then the plasma. All hits. Oh. And wins. Yeah. So these plague zombie squad are going to attempt to charge this squad over here. Okay, so last gun. Oh, it's quite a few. Is it three? That's not too bad. And three uh, fours to wound. So, one wound. So, four up, feel no pain. Just passed. So, they need five inches to get in. And they get six in there, just in. Okay, so this squad are going to attempt to charge into the plasma squad. I think mean, they need an eight inch charge, and that's yeah. if they don't take any casualties, which they probably will. So, the last pistol first. Nope. And the plasma guns. Oops, two gets hot, and one dies. It's at eight inches, so they don't make it. However, they, one of the plasma guys did die from Overwatch, so that's something. Okay, so... Come back over here. They go first, so hitting on freeze. And wounding on fours. So two, yeah, two. Pounce. Ah, uh, for what kind of pain is made. That's why I love the Imperial Armour Zombies. So good. They're gonna pile in. Okay, so that's 24 attacks from the zombies. I'll do two batches of 12. So it's starting with the first batch. Now they hit on fours. And wounded on fours for three. Five up save. So oh, so just a one. So let's hope the second batch can do a bit better. So second batch again hitting on fours. And wounded on fours. Four, three. So, five up, two more. So, leadership down to five, and I fail. So, you'll be falling back because I don't think I can sweep them. That's it. So. <clears throat> okay, so this is the end of turn two. And although the campaign's not been going great for Chaos so far, I think this game's not looking too bad. 
famous last words, but hopefully we can claw a win out of this one. So we'll see what um, the Deathcore of Cree can do in turn three. Leash of eight on them, and they regroup. So they've got to regroup backwards. They're away from the zombies. Okay, so just recapping the rest of the movement, these two squads have moved around to go after the Plague Marines and Mulgren and Glutwalk. Yep. So these guys are just going to snap fire into the zombies. So two hits and fours, so one wound. And feel no pain. It's actually failed, so one does go down. Um, Commissar is just going to fire his lads pistol. Hit on three. Nope. Plasma guns into the uh, plague room, so hitting on fours. One hit, one goes hot. That's it. Ah. And two to wound, so one wound. Just okay, so they just have their feel no pain, just failed. So one of the flame of the guys is dead. Last pistol hero. Misses. <laughs> okay, I completely forgot orders, so I'm gonna do uh, first rank fire, second rank fire on these guys, so leadership eight, and they pass. Okay, so <clears throat> first lot hitting on fours, ah. and the second uh, like to hit bit. Oh my god! Oh, ones. <clears throat> Sixes to wound. <laughs> <sighs> ah. Suicidal commissar is going to charge these guys. Okay, so we're going to Overwatch. So we'll start with plasma. This doesn't hit. And then four shots from the galvanic rifles. Two oh. hits, and uh, they win on threes. Yeah. So one wound. So uh, four up in one. So and maybe not too suicidal. So he only needs uh, five inches. No. Nah, oh, easy. he's in. Okay, so commissar first, hitting on threes, and wounding on fours with a power weapon. So just one wound. So that'll be a six up. Failed, so one of them dies, but they will get their attacks back. Okay, so three attacks back, um, hitting on fours, so two hits, and then wounded on fours, so pff, nothing. Had to get snake eyes at some point. So we will need a leadership check, which is passed. Okay, so at the end of the chaos movement phase, I've reversed the rhino back to give these guys a firing line straight across to over here. Uh, the pavement's moved up and the flame has decided to have a nice line to shoot from. Of course we've got the sorcerer's psychic power to do first, see if he can kill any. And then um, these zombies have moved up over this squad, these zombies have moved up over this squad, so... Uh, the death core might have a lot of zombies to deal with this turn. But first we're gonna go into the psychic phase. <laughs> <laughs> so, warp charge, one again, so, <laughs> but we are only going to do Nurgle's Rot, so I'll, I'll do it on two dice and hope that we aren't perils this game. Oh, just double one, so, he's not a very good psycho, I think. Poor old Malgrim Glutwalk, he's trying his best, bless him. So the Flamer can get all but one if we sort of, if I can angle it a bit better, it could tank in the way. So, that's nine. Eight. Eight, sorry. Oh yeah, because one did die. Yeah. So that's oh, that's nine um, three pluses to wound. So that's seven. And then we have six bolt gun shots as well. And five hits. And four wounds, so that finishes that squad. Um, yeah, again, I, I keep forgetting to announce my doctrine. Um, plus one bullet skill is ta this turn. So these guys are going to fire into these. So that's four shots with their rifles, hitting on twos. And wounded on threes for four. And that just kills them. So these zombies shambling forward, ready to kill these guys, and then they just got shot down in front of them. And the poor rhino didn't lose his chance to shoot anything. So we'll go straight into the assault phase now. Uh, okay, so we're gonna declare a charge over here. So Overwatch. Wow, we hit with three. And four's the wound. One wound. And four up. Feel no pain, that's failed, yeah, so one. Died. 
And we'll roll for our charge distance. That's right, just four, so that's done up. <laughs> okay, death call go first, so hit on freeze. And uh, wounding on fours. Wow. Four? Ah, uh, four ups. So three go down. So we have 21 attacks back. As this is a first batch of 11. Hit on fours. And wounding on fours. Four, six. Five up save. Uh, five die. And then 10 more. Okay, not, not so good this time, only four hits. We have three wounds. Five up save. Yeah, they're dead. So the squads <clears throat> go down, and um, with the rules for the Imperial Armour Zombies, if they wipe out a squad in combat, they get D3 zombies back. So they get one extra zombie. Okay, so Commissar hits at the same time. So four attacks, hit on threes, and wounding on fours. One move. So, um, just to feel no pain, is failed, so I'll take that off him, yep. Yeah. And then we'll have two attacks back, which don't hit. So then it'll be straight into our leadership, which has failed. So the initiative roll off, and he is dead. Okay, so um, we are going to call it at this point, as there was only one model left and he would have just been swarmed by zombies and taken down. So, Morgan Glutwort has survived. I think this took us six games to get a Chaos character surviving <laughs> a, a match, but he's done it. He hasn't sucked himself into a warp this time. He has risen the dead and took out the Imperial threat. So we'll be definitely seeing him again later in the campaign. So this mission, pretty short and sweet. Um, I don't know how long it will be once it's edited, but it didn't take us too long to film, which was nice. Um, but a pretty overwhelming victory for the Chaos, which is good, because um, so far in this campaign, I haven't had a lot of luck. But I will say the Skatari really helped, and um, the firepower they can put out is fantastic. Um, I'm really enjoying the new Skatari. And their doctrine make them quite good as well. Um, as we just saw, if you watched episode 3, they are pretty good there too. So, all that's left is um, Handshake from Wayne. We've filmed missions 5 and 6 this evening. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed them. Now, we still have plans for one or two more missions in the campaign. And they're, they're hope hopefully going to be quite epic. So, stay tuned for them. We shall see you in the next video.